Oh, chicken stock. Oh no, hold on. Did I add? Ah! Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Hope you've had a great week. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a budget meal today, but something pretty tasty. Creamy garlic chicken. And I was thinking, what, what could I have with that? And I found a what looked like a really lovely crispy parmesan roasted potatoes. They're new potatoes. I mean, we'll go and have a look at the ingredients in a minute. But um, I thought, well, how much would all that cost? Um, and I was quite impressed that it came to, once I sort of worked out all the cost breakdowns, and there is the, the, the full cost breakdown will be at the end of the vlog, which will be part of the ingredients listed on the end of the vlog, but it will also be pinned in the um, comments and where else? Oh, in the description, but the actual cost breakdowns at the end of the vlog, which sort of breaks down how much each thing cost. And altogether, uh, for one meal, which for the three, three things, it was £1.57 um, per person for four. So it's a family of four, say. And that's what that's our dinner tonight. So what is for dinner? It's going to be tasty, creamy garlic chicken with Parmesan roasted potatoes, new ones, uh, and some um, vegetable side green beans. Delicious. I'm actually looking forward to this because we're all hungry, so I better crack on. Come and have a look at ingredients. And before we before we look at the ingredients, don't forget to check out my Ten Bites channel, uh, my new channel um, reviewing takeaway food. Thank you very much. Right, let's get looking at these um, ingredients. Okay, this is for the roasted parmesan crispy potatoes. Um, those words keep getting mucked around, and I never know which way to start. The ingredients list will start floating up, um, but we do have paprika, thyme, garlic powder, salt and pepper, um, parmesan, although this is the other type. I'll, I'll put what it is there, because I can never remember it, but it's there's two types of parmes parmesan and the other one. <laughs> You'll know what I mean when you see it. Olive oil. Uh, so that's for that. I will be cutting them up and boiling them before, before the next clip, as it were. I'll just do that off off camera uh, because I'm going to parboil them before I mix them mix these in this is the garlic chicken I am using chicken thigh fillets uh, the recipe I found was actually for chicken breast but this is cheaper um, I and I will be cutting them up um, getting rid of bits etc cream this is my own uh, homegrown garlic it's a little bit small but I only need two or three cloves um thyme and a red onion so yeah uh let's get started and get cooking see you in a bit um the potatoes i cut them up nice and simple uh, they've been parboiled and they're all completely dried off you know steamed off so i'm actually going to add um the all this malarkey <laughs> I, I, I do think I'd, oh, I'll use a bowl you know but no 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 why use a bowl when I can use this uh, yeah so let's just bung it in Next, they're going to go into the uh, ninja basket ready for roasting. Oh, I've taken the crisp plate out. This is uh, one kilogram of new potatoes. So I will need to stir as they cook. Just give it a shake and then pop it in. Draw two, roast. Uh, I'll do 200, I think. So we're just going to see, I'm not sure on times, um, so we're just going to just see how that goes and I'm going to start cooking the creamy chicken. So I'm just going to put the um, uh, Kasori uh, pressure cooker on sa saute. Oh, fuck. There we go. <laughs> right, let's get this started because the Ninja is actually cooking at the moment. I'm, I'm, leave, I'm not going to touch it until the 15 minutes are up and then I'm going to give it a stir because I want to really roast those potatoes. So we're going to add, uh, let me just press start. We're going to add the onions. Here they are. 
onions, I've got three small cloves of garlic and the thyme. We're going to add that into there once the oils, there's a little bit of um, olive oil in there. We'll fry these off and then we'll add the chicken, which I've already cut up. As soon as that's warm, I'll be back to add the onion, etc. Actually, while that's heating up, that's my little camera stand. While that's heating up, look at the, the potatoes. They're looking at me. I just had a quick sneaky peek. <gasps> oh, sorry. Hold up. Wow. I'm going to give those a stir uh, and then we'll carry on cooking. They might actually be quicker. If they are done before the chicken is, that I can keep them warm and just heat them up when I'm ready to serve. So there's no problem. I'm, I really wasn't sure on the time, but I'm actually really impressed with how they look. Mmm, delicious. Going to stir them. In fact, let's do it now. Let's see what the other side's like. Ooh. We, we will need to stir. That's no, no problem with that. How many minutes have gone? Just, just, um... Just, a, just under seven. Right, let that carry on cooking. Oh, got a bit of burn. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah, we're going to let that carry on cooking. So, let's go back to the kasori and throw in the um, onions, etc. I do notice with this that it gets very hot quite quickly. There's, there's not a lot of... Um, it won't let me go under 120 degrees, um, degrees Celsius, I mean. Right, we're going to let these fry off and then I'm going to be adding the chicken, so see you in a bit. So the onions um, nicely fried off and we're going to add the um, chicken. So this is 500 grams of chicken. chicken. Chicken fry fillets. So I'm going to fry these off with the onion, uh, garlic and thyme until they're browned off as much as possible as possible before I add the cream. Okay, they've been frying off for about five, ten minutes. Um, I will add the cream, oops, I will add the cream soon. The green beans are on, that's the cream, and it's 15 minutes and we're up, so let's just see how these look. Hold up. Ooh! Wow, they look great. I really love that. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's give them a stir. Oops, hold up. Stirring is quite good because it kind of, oops, hold on. Stirring is quite good because it kind of crunches them up a little bit, which is all good for the kind of roasted yumminess. Right, I'm gonna put them back in. Uh, oops. Um, roast. I'll probably just do 10 minutes because it's all, and then if, if so yeah, let's just see how that goes. So that's 10 on top of the 15. I mean, they don't, like, whether they actually even need it is another matter, but yeah, not sure. Green beans are boiling up. There's going to be lots of noise because I've got my um, extractor fan on. Uh, yeah. Right. I think I might add the cream now. Oops, we're getting really steamy in here. <laughs> right, let's add the cream. Well, I want that to sit and cook for a little while, but I'm just going to let the, each bit of chicken kind of stew in the chickeny, um, creamy sauce. Oh, chicken stock. I knew there was something missing. Right, I'll be back. Okay, that was lucky. That's just um, a little um, little chicken stock with a little bit of boiled water just to get it, you know, melted. Because it doesn't crumble very well, not like an oxo, but it's uh, significantly cheaper. Okay. I think that'll do. There's a there's residue left. It's it's fine. It's to just obviously give it that flavour. Yeah, quite important I think. Otherwise it'd probably be too creamy. Brilliant. Right, I'm glad I got that in. I've just checked the temperature of the chicken and it's in the uh, low 70s, so it's close to being cooked. The potatoes are ready. The green beans are ready. This is actually quite quick. 
basically, I started cooking the roast potatoes first. Oh, it's hot in here. And that was 20 minutes ago. Literally 20 minutes. There's still five minutes left, just in case, because it does to switch itself off if you don't. So it's just, just shut. So five minutes left. I don't know if you can even see that. Hold on. Yeah. Um, from when I added... Oh, no, hold on. Did I add... How many minutes did I add? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it'll all be... It'll all be in the re recipe notes, the timings. But it was 15 minutes plus... I thought I added 10 minutes. I think I did. <laughs> Going crazy. Green beans, I just need to drain those. Um, I'm just going to allow this to sort of stew in its sauce. Check the temperature. I've actually turned off the cassori. It gets very ferocious. Uh, but the heat, the residue heat, because it was so close to 75, the chicken, that I will check before I serve up. So just let them sit there in their flavour. I've also seasoned the chicken with salt and pepper to taste. Right, um, next next task, serve it up and taste test. See you in a minute. Oh, right, fantastic. I, I'm actually really pleased. Uh, that looks so good. Oh. I'm starving. This is this is it. yeah. Everybody's waiting, so I'm gonna be um, uh, handing them out, as it were, and joining the family after the taste test. But uh, what I will say is, this is one pound fifty-seven per portion, per plate rather. One pound fifty-seven per plate. Um, not bad at all if you consider that it's kind of a quite it is quite a rich meal. Bearing in mind there's cream, etc. But occasionally such meals are you know called for right let's hand out every, everybody gets theirs and then let's be back let's come back for a taste test see you in a minute okay i've just got it balancing on a saucepan just so it's in the in the camera angle um five and four oh, forgetting that right let's start off with this chicken first and some of the creamy sauce um it was in its high 70s when i temperature tested it Mm. Oh. oh, that's creamy. I'm glad I remembered the chicken stock because it gives it that little bit of extra flavour. Um, oh, that was really lovely. A little bit of parmesan potato. It has some of that creamy sauce on. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, that's so, that that but these potatoes oh I'll do these again I mean oh that's such a good way of doing using up your new potatoes even on their own oh my god I get a bit of the paprika a little bit of that thyme oh this is delicious mmm One pound fifty-seven. <laughs> right, I bet join the family. It's been really nice doing a whole meal. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, so yeah, well before it goes cold, I better go. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.